Hi, this is John with Transoms Direct. We've made videos on how to either order or build your own jam to make your transom sash ready to install in your opening. But what if you order a half round transom or an arch top transom like you see here? They still need to be placed into a jam for installation. And as we're gonna to discover today, building a curved jam is a bit more difficult. Let's go visit Clay who's building one now. So Clay, we've made uh, a few videos now on how to build a jam. Looks like you've got something else going on here today. Yeah, this is a curved jam. So what we have to do is we have to build this up out of a bunch of laminations of thinner material. We have to bend them and around this form that we've created. Okay, I grabbed a, uh, a finished one out of the back. Why don't you show a little bit better what we're doing? Yeah, this is the part we're creating right now. This is the top jam. It's got a curve to it that matches the curve of the transom sash. And then we'll eventually build this into an entire unit, which you're seeing right here, with curved custom-made stops also. Okay, so what's the next step? You're gonna take this out and start forming up the jam, I guess? Yeah, um, next thing is to remove these parts right here. And then I'm gonna go over to those laminations and glue them all together and clamp them into this form that you see. Okay, I'll let you get to work. All right. So the technique here is to glue together multiple layers of thin laminate material into a stack of material that is three quarter inches thick like a normal jam. Here Clay is carefully adding just enough glue to the top layer of the laminate stack before he adds the next and final layer. When the laminate stack is three quarter inches thick, Clay transfers it to the mold and places it between two boundary pieces. After Clay secures the laminate stack at the center, he begins adding clamps along the entire mold to form the curved jam piece. Ultimately, the stack is clamped to the mold about every two to three inches to make the curve smooth and consistent. When the jam is fully clamped, he will let the glue dry for a few hours and fix the curve in place. Okay, Clay, so we're back from lunch. The glue has had time to dry. What's next? Uh, next is to remove all the clamps, take the part out of the form, and we're gonna end up with something that looks like this, which is an arch jam. And uh, I'm gonna take that over to the saw, trim everything to fit, and make a finished jam with it. Okay, that sounds terrific. You're gonna fit it up. We'll come back here and see what it looks like. After trimming the jam width down to size, Clay moved it to the assembly table where he's seen here. He's going to fit the curved jam to the rectangular portion of the jam while the sash is held in place by some spacer blocks. Once he's satisfied that the fit is good, he nails and screws the jam together. Next, Clay fabricates and installs stop to hold the sash in place in the middle of the jam. This requires some complex miter cuts and a bit of elbow grease to be sure everything fits just right. After the sash is secured on both sides by stop, Clay takes the transom unit to the sanding table, cuts off the excess curved jam material with a jigsaw, and then finish sands the whole unit so it is ready for paint. Okay, Clay, it looks like we've got a finished unit here ready to ship. What do you think? Well, it, it's not something you're gonna wanna try and build at home, but this is uh, ready to go. It's uh, gorgeous and we're gonna have a happy customer. Excellent. Thanks for joining us. Did you know that transom windows can be built to open and close for ventilation? Perfect for bathrooms, laundry rooms, so many places. Click the top video to learn more about transoms that pivot or open on hinges. But if you are ready to start measuring your transom, check out our planning resources linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.